Hello everybody. Taxi Life has been out for two weeks now and they just released an update patch. But before we look at what's new, I want to take a quick glimpse at the announcement that the Taxi Life team posted last week as it addresses one of the concerns I listed in my review regarding wanting to know a bit of a roadmap about what's planned for the game's future. First, the dev team acknowledges that many players desire more compatible driving wheels, but Logitech and Thrustmaster wheels are what they had available when developing the game. However, they are working on a plan to expand the list of compatible wheels and they will provide more details soon. Second, they admit work is needed on the AI, specifically the driver slamming into the back of your car randomly, as well as pedestrians loitering in the crosswalks. Regarding game performance, apparently I wasn't the only one with a decent PC, yet still experiencing stutters. So they're working on that, and there was also mention of the PlayStation 5 specifically. So for those of you on PlayStation, they acknowledge that they have some work to do regarding performance on your machine, and they are hoping to have a fix. And I'm wondering if maybe this was addressed in the patch. Then they dug into the big question a lot of us had. Will more content be added, or are they moving on to a new project? Well, they didn't fully answer that question, but they did state that it's too early to think about this while there are performance issues to worry about, which I can understand. I did see mention of possibly, note possibly, adding new cars and expanding the map, which would be so awesome. And it would keep me coming back to taxi life, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Finally, they ended this briefing by sharing their plan of patch releases every week or two until the major kinks are resolved. Now, let's take a look at the patch notes from this week's update. As promised in the previous announcement, the Simteract team completed the performance enhancement to reduce FPS stuttering, though they noted players may still encounter slight stuttering in certain areas of the city, and this is an ongoing issue that they are still working on. They also made improvements in the AI cars smashing randomly into player taxis. I'm excited about this one because no one likes to be rear-ended. There's also a note about controller input and a new helpful tooltip hint accessible with LB in order to discover which controller commands can be combined to perform certain actions. In simple terms, press your left bumper button and you'll see a pop-up where you can easily turn on your headlights, start your car, use cruise control, and change your tablet screen. I'm finding this incredibly handy for headlights, and I would love if we could edit the features and add radio and wiper controls. The patch notes end with a few juicy morsels, including the addition of other taxis on the Barcelona streets, which is pretty cool. There were also audio performance improvements, so I'm anxious to try to figure out what those were, as well as changes to the environmental elements. In my Taxi Life review, I mentioned I thought it was odd that there were wipers on the taxi, but no precipitation. So I'm expecting to see some rain on my windshield as I play this update. That's it for the recent Taxi Life update and news, and I'll end this video with some relaxing Taxi Life gameplay. Enjoy! All right, we are going to go and pick up our first customer of the day and see if we notice any improvements in the AI. Also on the lookout for other NPC taxis supposedly added to the game. Hello. Hello. Another thing that I had trouble with was the AI vehicles just randomly stopping in front of me for no reason. So I'm wondering if that was fixed. We will find out today. Yep, do you see that? They're still doing it. Okay, I have the right of way here, sir. But that van just slammed on his brakes for no reason. Something else I did last weekend. Hey, sorry, dude. I don't remember them honking at me when I cut them off, but maybe they did before. But anyhow, as I was saying, something that I was working on last weekend is completing 
all of the graffiti sightings going around to all of those locations as well as the landmarks. I completed them all. So as I drive by, you can take a look on my GPS. They are all complete. That took me a few hours, but it was so relaxing and it was fulfilling too because that was kind of a tricky task, but it was one that I knew with a bit of patience I could get completed. And something I have still not done, you guys are probably going to think I am crazy. Oh, there's this. Okay, that was an accident. I'm not gonna look. But I have not bought any new cars. I don't have any employees yet. I need to do that. I'm going to make a video and do that. But I've just been keeping it simple. Green light here. Talking and driving is not my forte. But I've got a healthy sum of money and I have not been spending it. I've been hoarding it. I don't think this was a perfect trip because of that one little shortcut I took. But hey, I think we did pretty well. Let's see. Bye. Goodbye. Suddenly there are many people in my car. <laughs> okay, how did we do? We got five stars. 800 euros. The tip was 74. Not bad. Hey, we got a perfect run. It didn't dock us for making that illegal turn there. To be completely honest, I have not noticed a reduction in the stuttering that I was having playing this. I'm curious what some of you on PlayStation and Xbox, if you have experienced improvements with this update because I think console was having more problems than PC. We're gonna take a left. We're gonna take this driver. We're gonna take a left. Heck with the rules at this point, right? Oh, oh, that was probably not a good idea. I just got a ticket. What if we take a little shortcut? Shortcut. That's the street we need right there. I mean, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, am I right? I've already gotten a ticket or two. Okay, here we go. VIP client. Can we do it? I'm in a hurry. You'll get a big tip when you get to our destination quickly. Just don't kill us. And there isn't a whole lot of traffic. We're just going to go the wrong way. I'm not supposed to drive down here. But he said, just don't kill us, right? That's what I'm doing. I'll even use my turn signal for this last bit. There we go. We only got in one little fender bender. Now, let's see our tip. What's he going to rate us? Three stars. Why? Because I got no fender bender. But look at our tip. We got 70 some dollars for our tip for our previous client. We got 300 here, 300 euros for that short distance. And it was pretty darn fun. Now, <laughs> I drove against the flow of traffic. I drove in areas not available for cars and there was a small collision, but I didn't break the speed limit. That is hard to believe. And we didn't have any big collisions. That was good fun. I hate parallel parking. That's good enough. Hello, sir. Where would you like to go? Hi there. Hi. Wow. Exuberant greeting there. <laughs> Thankfully, my client has a lot of patience because this is a long distance. It's kind of a long trip. Oh, no, 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 no. We just made a mistake. I took the wrong turn. I swear I've done this at the exact same place before. All these one-way streets. It is a bit confusing. We're gonna get docked for that. So much for our perfect run. And there's a cop right in front of us. Hello, officer. What the what? hell are you doing? What? Holy shnikes, that scared me. 
my heart is racing. That was a delayed ticket because I am not driving against the flow right here. <laughs> I think I need to change my britches. <laughs> it's okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. I just want to get this guy and drop him off and be done with you. Yeah, good Bye -bye. riddance. Yeah. Thanks for scaring the crap out of me. Alright. Hold on to your butt. Things are about to get hairy. I'm in a hurry. You'll get a big tip when you get to our destination quickly. Just don't kill us. Don't kill us. Got it. Where are we going? There's no route marked. It's not telling me how to get there. Okay. Well, I think we've encountered a GPS bug. The AI will not get out of the crosswalk. At least this makes a good proving point for the video. It is lagging here, too. It is super laggy. You see this, right? Let's get out of this area. It is glitchy. And yeah, we've lost. We've lost it. Oh, whatever. It was not my fault. Oh, hello, Mr. Taxi. Yeah, just let me go. Just let me go. I hope you have enjoyed this update for Taxi Life, as well as some Taxi Life gameplay. If you enjoy this game and other sim and survival games, please consider subscribing. And if you want to be extra nice, drop a like or a comment down below. Thanks for watching.